what's the emotion like right now? Yeah, pretty cool. You know what I mean? I've, uh, uh, you know, I, I see it as uh, another day at the office. Um, you know, that's a mindset that I've approached this with. Um, it's the same as what I would be at home. You know, I, I've, I've, I've done this countless times, and um, I've needed to be on my game at every time. You know what I mean? Uh, if you, if you allow everything else around you to get too much in the picture, you're going to definitely come into trouble. You know, you're definitely going to find it really hard. So for me, I'm, I'm a professional. And this is my job. I get paid to do this, and I need to do it to the best of my ability. So my mindset is what's happening in the cage, not what's happening around me. We hear a lot about octagon jitters, you know, even from the most experienced of fighters. Do you have a plan to combat that at all? And do you normally feel any nerves before a fight? Look, uh, I, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy that, that gets too caught up with that stuff. You know, I don't allow emotion to come into my into my game too much. New experience, you know, we'll have to see what it, what it, um, what it is on, on Saturday night. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm professional enough to, to, to adapt and, and, and use it to the way that I need to an advantage and put it into an advantage for myself. Um, and, and make sure that I, I do the job. You know, I've, I've traveled a, a far distance and I've worked really hard to get to this, to this point and I'm, I'm not gonna allow something like that to be a factor in my, in my game at the end of the day. Have you had a chance to explore Poland at all yet? What's your thoughts? Yeah, I've been around, we've traveled quite a bit, we've had a look, uh, beautiful place, uh, incredible history in this, in this country and um, I, I, was, I was shocked to see, to see how beautiful this place was. You know, we had, we had seen some pictures and we knew it was gonna be, uh, um, you know, incredible to, to take a walk around, but just just a whole different level. Um, by far, one of the one of my most favorite places I've ever traveled there. Main event: Mirko Kokrop, Gabriel Gonzaga. Any any thoughts on that one? Predictions? Yeah, super fireworks, man. I think those dudes are going to hit each other hard. I think there's a little bit of bad blood, so I think uh, there's a few points that need to be proved. Um, I think those guys are going to go at it. I, I definitely see a knockout in that fight, and uh, yeah, we'll have to wait to see what happens on Saturday. Next week is the main event in your weight class, Luda Machida, Luke Rockhold. What do you think about that one? Yeah, look, great fight, great athletes. Uh, yeah, Luke Rockhold, he's a beast, man. But then again, Leo Machida's proved time and time again why he was a champion and uh, and what he's capable of. So yeah, I think I'll just hold uh, I'll hold my my thoughts to myself and, and see what happens. Thanks for the time. Any pleasure. So welcome in Poland. Uh, is this your first time uh, in our country? Yes, that it is. So what do you think about uh, Poland? Incredible country. Um, you know what, I, I, when I first said, are you going to Poland? I was like, okay, wow, uh, you know, what is that about? And, and what are we going to have to see? Um, I had the opportunity to, uh, uh, to do some traveling and then go around into the museums and obviously see some, some of the finer art and the, and the statues and that. And this is in a really exceptionally beautiful country. Um, people are amazingly friendly. Um, you know, and uh, I, the, the biggest thing that stood out to me was how clean it is. You know, it's a really, really clean country. Um, yeah, super impressed. I mean, I, I, I like I said, um, probably one of the, one of my favorite places to travel. Food is fantastic. Um, unfortunately, not being able to eat too much of the food here. You know, obviously with the. So what do you do you eat? Uh, yeah, chicken breast and 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 uh, a little bit of uh, asparagus and some broccoli. That's about it right now. Uh, but uh, come Saturday nights, I'm definitely going to eat some of the some of the the good yeah. quality food around. So. I'm the you wait for the for the wait. Uh, yeah. So this is um, uh, hard for you make a wait, uh, or do you do you, do you don't have uh, any problems with this? No, look, uh, it's something that I work really hard on and um, make sure that I'm on top of it. I don't allow it to get away from me. I'm I'm, I'm very diligent in, in, in my in my diet and, and and my work. So you know, come come time to cut the weight, it's 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 pretty easy for me. And uh, yeah, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Do you know something about Poland, about Polish fighter before uh, you came uh, for this uh, UFC event? Yeah, look, I mean, uh, I do understand that they've got some some, some serious dudes here, um, and uh, there is some quality on show. Um, I know that uh, my opponent uh, Bartosz Bobanski is a he's a he's a big name in Poland, and he's he's an exceptional fighter. So yeah, I mean, look, we've we've we've, we've had a look, and we've we've seen we see what it's about. Um, Super excited, super excited to compete and uh, against a, a top quality athlete and uh, show the world what I'm capable of. Uh, first, uh, when uh, the um, make uh, list of the fighters was made, your opponent was Krzysztof Jotko. Uh, yeah? Yes, yes. yes, yeah. So, uh, this is. Uh, um, which opponent uh, will best for you? Fabinski or Jotko? 
Look, at the end of the day, um, for us, it's not about who I'm fighting. It's about what I need to do. Um, uh, we need to be prepared for any situation and, and, and that these type of things do happen. Um, for me, I would have fought both of them the same way that I would fight now. Um, and, uh, you know, I haven't really allowed that too much to, to get anything me. Um, obviously, we respect the athlete and what he's capable of. Um, and we've looked into that. And um, it, it's about Bartos and myself on, on, on Saturday night. So, you know, I think that's a great, it's a great fight for the crowd he's a Polish guy and I think that's what the, uh, the Polish people want to see they want to see their fighters fight international fighters so yeah I'm, I'm super excited um, you thought uh, it, it will be your first fight in the UFC uh, yes it's true uh, could you talk about uh, a little about uh, your career in the, your country about your fights uh, which you have Yeah, look, I, I, um, I'm part of, I was part of the EFC organization, um, uh, an organization that's rapidly growing. They're a fantastic bunch of guys. Um, in terms of the quality that they put out from a production value, they is incredible. It's, it's world class. Um, South Africa has some really great fighters. Um, you know, we just haven't been exposed to the world. Um, the world hasn't seen the guys fight. So I do believe that at the end of the day, those guys will come along and they will be in the UFC. It's all about somebody taking the bull by the horns and, and, and opening the door for them and and showing the world that we are capable of fighting. Unfortunately, there was a South African in and he wasn't capable of doing that. You know, so for me, I feel it's my responsibility to go on and, and carry the South African name. Um, my career, my career has been an amazing career. You know, I've been doing this for a long time and um, I, I've had to endure some ups and downs and, and work really hard to put myself in this position. Um, I, I've given and invested everything that I have in life to be here and I'm going to take that opportunity by both hands. Um, you know, I've uh, I built a fantastic name for myself in South Africa as a South African athlete and I hope to do that on the world stage. In the last weekend, the uh, first Polish fighter was fight at the EFC, you know? Yes. Rafał Horatek, yeah. <laughs> and he can't he, he what? Yeah, look, um, a really cool dude. I, I had some time to chat to him, and, and he was a really pleasant guy, and, and, and we had uh, we, we had enjoyed some some good conversation. He fought a youngster, Kieran Skinner, who's uh, who, who is a guy with exceptional talent, but he's still very young and he's still learning. Um, yeah, look, I mean, he, he did well to travel to South Africa and, and not allow that to, to bother him, and he got the victory. When people ask you uh, which fighter which fighter is uh, Garrett uh, McLellan, uh, what do you talk to him? Look, I mean, I'm, I, 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 I'm a guy who does what, what I need to do. Um, I believe that I, I'm at, an, at a level where I can compete with the, the, the best in the world. Um, I just need to go out and prove that to the world. Um, you know, I, I'm, I work hard. It's something that I've, I've built my career on. It's working exceptionally hard. Sometimes not the most talented uh, athletes make it in this in life, but I do believe that it's the guys who invest everything and give everything to to their art and what they're doing that make it, and that's what I've done. Um, and that's stand, stand me in good stairs in, in my career, and, and I do believe it's going to stand me in good stairs as I, as, I, as I continue to climb. Okay, so um, good luck. Nice to meet you in Poland. And Thank you very much, and thanks for having me in a beautiful country. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.